In this video, I'm gonna show you and demonstrate dynamic NAT, where we create a pool of addresses and NAT individual devices to IP addresses in a pool. So as an example, we've got two devices in our inside network or internal network, and we're going to NAT them to individual IP addresses that are part of a pool. So this IP address gets natted to this IP address and this IP address gets natted to that IP address. I'm gonna show you that practically using our topology here, but I'm going to change the way that we're doing that. So rather than using PAT, we're going to use a pool of addresses. So previously on this client router, I had PAT configured. So as an example, if I type show run, pipe include NAT, we can see this overloading command. So what I'll do now is remove that command. It doesn't allow me to do that. So I'm gonna clear the IP NAT translations and clear all of them and then remove the command again. So show run, pipe include NAT. No NAT configuration apart from the outside interface. So I'll remove that as well, just to make it complete so that you can see the entire configuration. So show run, pipe include NAT. There's no NAT configuration. So I'll exit out of the router to show you the full setup of this. So again, show run, pipe include NAT, no NAT configuration on the router at the moment. So I'm gonna go into global configuration mode and type IP NAT, and what are we gonna NAT? We're going to NAT using a pool of addresses. So I can't remember the IP addresses, so I'll type do show IP interface brief. Okay, so there's the IP address. So the command I'm gonna use is IP NAT pool, my pool. The IP address I'm gonna use is 145.224. 65200, so same subnet as the external IP address so that my routing is not broken. So that's my starting IP address. My ending IP address is 145.224.65, let's say 220. And the net mask is gonna be 255.255.255.0, so slash 24. So show run, pipe include NAT, that's the command that we've configured. Show IP interface brief that those IP addresses are on the same subnet as that IP address simply for the routing for my internal network here. But we're not finished yet. We still need to configure how NAT's gonna take place. So IP NAT inside source, we're going to translate source IP addresses. We're going to use an access list, which is access list one, but rather than using PAT on an interface, we're going to use a pool of addresses. So pool, and we're going to specify my pool as the pool to use. Now you could overload an individual IP address, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna simply do a one-to-one -one NAT of IP addresses. So show run pipe include NAT now. We've got this pool of addresses. We've got 21 IP addresses in the pool, hopefully, and we are going to NAT based on this access list to this pool. So which addresses are we going to allow to be natted? Access list one will allow us to do that. We're gonna permit, and you can make this very specific, but I'm gonna just permit any IP addresses. So again, show access list one, any IP address is permitted to be natted to IP addresses in this pool. Show IP nat pool name my pool. So what's the pool of addresses? This pool called my pool has this ID, 21 addresses are available in the pool, none have been natted at the moment. So next step is to specify our outside and inside interfaces. Gigabit 000 is an outside interface in my example. So IP NAT outside, gigabit 001 is our inside IP address or inside interface should I say. So show run interface gigabit 000, this interface, is our outside interface. Gigabit 001, this interface is our inside interface. Show IP NAT translations. We are already seeing some traffic here. So our PC is already sending traffic. Notice it's being NATed to this IP address in the pool. The phone is being NATed to this IP address in the pool. And then we're seeing actual traffic being sent. A phone, once again, will send traffic immediately. If we go to our server, so 45, 56, 73, 104, notice that works. We can get access to the server and we can see that right at the end here. So what I'll do is include only port 80. So we see our connections to the server. 
So notice phone is connecting to the server, but our PC is also connecting to the server. PC has an IP address of 192.168.1.12. So back on our PC, IP config, IP address is 192.168.1.12. Hopefully it can access the server. And there you go, we can access the server through one browser and another browser as well as Chrome. So three browsers can access the server. If we go to our NAT translations, we can see that the PC with different port numbers because they're different sessions is being mapped to a single IP address, 145.224.65.202. The phone, which has IP address 192.168.113, is being mapped to this IP address in our pool. So if we look at our pool, so NAT pool, name my pool, three IP addresses have been assigned. Looking at our translations, we can see that this IP address was also allocated to our pool. And then we've got our PC and our phone being natted. Now you could restrict what's being natted once again by using a specific access list. So rather than allowing multicast OSPF traffic to be natted, we would restrict which addresses can be natted by the router. Now again, depending on where you're watching this, you can get access to the PowerPoint and you can see the configuration in the PowerPoint slide which may make it a nice way to summarize what we've demonstrated here, but I'll show you the config again. Show run pipe include NAT. We have created a pool with 21 addresses in the pool. The pool's name is my pool. We are then NATing inside IP addresses based on access list one, two addresses in that pool. So show run pipe include access list shows us access list one any address will be natted or will be allowed to be natted the outside interface on the route is gigabit 000 so ip nat outside the inside ip address is gigabit 001 so this is our private ip address this is our public ip address on the router okay so that's how you configure nat pools on a cisco router i've now shown you static NAT, I've shown you overloading, and I've shown you how to configure NAT pools. Make sure you know all of these for the exam.